you looked at these barrels, look at the end, you'll see that this lump is dropped out in between the two tubes. Now, the tubes are called, the two tubes before that machine that put together are called round bar tubes. Okay? Now, there's three, there's round bar tubes, and there's also, there's also chopper lump tubes. Now, the difference between the round bar when you buy them are shaped like, like that. Now, the chopper lump tubes are shaped like this. And you have another, you have two fitting together like that to make the complete back assembly. The, the two, one, the lump is an integral, but one half of it is an integral part of that barrel and the other half is an integral part of that barrel. Now, this is the strongest method so far. This is about the second method because there's a dovetail cut in there. Now, there's also another method of putting them together which is called shoe lump. And what they have, they have two round, round tubes like that. And they have a piece shaped like that. Like that. It goes up th through, sometimes they go through here as well, right through here. This is one solid lump. And these two tubes, they sit in this shoe, as it's called. And that's another method of construction. You'll see this on a lot of German Austrian and Austrian guns. And you'll also see it used in a lot of old, older English double rifles, especially Wesley Richards. This method is always, is always used with the best London guns, or most of them. It's also used by the Spanish in a lot of their guns. They use it because it's easy, to ease, it's ease of manufacture. So they can machine the two flat surfaces so that any fork can put them together. You see, it doesn't have to be, be a clever guy to put them together. This method, this method here called, called the dovetail lump is, uh, is more commonly used on, on box lock guns and cheaper Birmingham guns. Now, you can see this, this lump's rather thick and there's a lot of extra metal around here. The next stage after this would be machining and this lump would be machined down to the right, near the right thickness the flat sear would be taken down lower and you can even get the bars as we call it that's the two, the two little, these two little parts that stick out here sharper you can even get those machined on and also they would drill the extractor hole which is the extractor hole is there they drill that you know, the same when they do the machining so this is a long way from finishing now you'll find that if you look in these and you can pass them around and have a look, you'll see that right in the end here there's some threads in these barrels, the rough old threads. Now, those threads were put in there at the proof house in Birmingham because these barrels were provisionally proof tested before we even started on them. And they, they, they put a rough old screw thread in there. It's a process called hotting because they screw what's called a hut in there. It's like a plug with a touch hole in it. Because what they do, they put, they, they test these like an old black powder gun. They put black powder down the barrels, a massive load is shot, and then they put the tubes in, in a bank of sand with little grooves cut in it to hold each tube. And they have a little, a, a, a little kind of a trail of black powder leading to every, every touch hole in the, in the little hut or plug they screw in there, and they touch off a, a dozen or more at a time. See, and that's what that, that's what that screw thread is there for. 
You see, the, the idea of provisional proving back tubes before you put them together was to, so that the gunmaker wasn't wasting his time putting with a pair of tubes that were no good in the first place, that would probably fail when they went for definitive proof later on when the gun was made. So that was the idea of black powder. They've done away with it now because they don't need, they found they, um, with my, most my modern steels and most modern tubes, they don't need to, to provisionally prove them. And uh, so they, they, it's not compulsory now. You can have it done if you want. And they just put a little provisional proof mark on the front of the barrel here. But that's what the threads are there. So if you want to have a look at this, pass it round, you are welcome. Okay, have you got any questions on that, love? Okay, now while I'm on it, I might as well tell you what the other, the other parts are on the barrel.